rib bat that has found his way into the basement of this house and is now sitting behind the register for the, the hot and cool air for the furnace. So we're going to just gently pull this back and be able to grab the bat and then put him into a jar. So hopefully he won't take flight. So we'll go as slow as possible here. We don't want him to, to fly back into the vent if possible. Resting. I start to complain now. That's a big brown bat going by the, the size of the mouth. Because he can open his mouth so much, it is a big brown. And we're just going to check the sex. And it is a boy. So not a, we don't have a female colony here. I'm not holding him too tightly, just enough to make sure he doesn't take off. But he obviously is not happy. I'm just expanding his wing out so you can see how big they are. Nice leathery wings. He is trying to bite me here, he's got my glove. <laughs> over that. And once he latches on, he's not able to let go. And then we look on the so this little flap between the legs is what he uses to catch insects in flight. He'll put his legs forward, the insect will get in there, he'll then curl the tail up, land somewhere, and then begin to eat it. So we're going to put him in the jar. Again, making sure that he doesn't take flight. Yes.